Hello everyone, welcome back to another solo guide for Payday 3. Today we're going to be doing 99 boxes, uh, just on the normal difficulty, mostly because I haven't experimented around with the higher ones yet. If I get to the higher ones, I'll go ahead and I'll, uh, I'll experiment around with them and obviously give you guys an update on that guide. But for right now, I've been playing around with normal quite a lot, so I just want to go ahead and do that. This one will probably be a little bit more chopped up than the previous one, but it's just because there's a lot more to do. So first thing you're gonna do, you wanna head over to this right side over here, because I think that this guy's a bit easier to hack than the guy who's further into the base. Now I've got some new some new tech, so I've got this hot little number. I've been running down the hacker uh, skill tree recently, so I can hack into cameras, which is pretty cool. I think you only need one tier of hacker to hack into the cameras, but I think that you need another tier in order to get the the looping one which is what I'm using right now in order to keep this guy's eyes off of me so I think we might actually be able to okay there's not a camera here there there can be sometimes so you want to watch out for that but you want to go ahead and start hacking this guy's phone so I'll go ahead and Good find. That'll come in handy. okay so that's that done with oh he almost freaked out and saw us but don't matter we're heading this way so once you 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 want to hack both just so you have either uh, obviously the objective right now is to get into the warehouse, but I'm, I'm focusing on doing this first just because I want to get it out of the way to begin with. So keep an eye on where the cameras are here. Obviously I'm hacking them, but if you don't have that perk, you're going to have to sneak around in order to do it, which may make things a, bit, a little bit more difficult. That's embarrassing. Um, oh, speaking of cameras. Okay, so we loop that one. We're going to wander in here a bit. This guy shouldn't give us any hell, I don't think. Ooh, but that will. That that definitely will. Ooh. Okay, so make a mental note. There's a camera there. But you want to keep go ahead and keep heading down here. There's going to be a guy. Yeah, there's going to be this guard right here. If I remember correctly, he's going to patrol straight on, I think. Ooh. He kind of looked around here a bit. I think he's having a smoke. He's putting it out. And I think he walks forward, unless I'm mistaken. Ooh, 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 ooh. Watch out. You walking this way? No, let's go ahead and ping him. Oh, Watch the car. Just so that we can keep an eye on him. Okay, he's actually no, he's coming this way. Alright, that is unfortunate. But hopefully he looks downward. And there is there is another way to game this as well. Which I may just show you guys to show you, but I want to get this camera out of the way first. That one may be entirely useless now, but yeah, bro wandered over here. We should be able to hide behind this barricade here. And if we don't, the first time they spot you, if you remain stationary and just kind of like obey them, they'll walk you back to the entrance. And you can hack their phone while they do that. As long as you start the hack out of the view of the camera, you'll be fine. Okay, so we're going to get spotted here. Okay. You, fuck nut. Restricted area. <laughs> You took a wrong turn. I've never had them speak to me like that before, but he's gonna walk you back to the entrance The hack will run as long as you're in proximity to him. So this is perfect for what we want to do here Don't wander off again. Yes, sir. I apologize greatly. Okay, so now you can go ahead and mosey off Head over to this open trailer over here. This is gonna be your way into the warehouse. This is the easy way into the warehouse anyways So you're gonna mask up now You're gonna need it once you get in here and Then Go ahead and open. Take a peek out. There can be cameras and there can be a security guard near here sometimes. So you want to keep an eye out. However, I've recently learned. Okay, there's a, there's a security guard in here. And there's also a civilian. There's usually two people in here at any given time. And then there's also the uh, security camera area is going to be back here. It says you need a blue key card. From what I've seen, you don't. You could just open it. Uh, if they patch this, I'll put something in the description. But for the moment, you can just open this. Pop this guy in the head. Give it a moment. Oop. That's not the radio. Not the radio at all. You can put the civilian down. I typically put the civilian down just to avoid the hassle later. You can also put the security guard down. You won't have any any real issues with it later on. If I can find either of them. Oh my god. Who is this? Alright, get down. down on the ground. So I think the security guard might actually be upstairs so what we can do with this guy for the moment since we've already taken out the cameras we don't really have to worry about security cameras seeing this guy or seeing us 
So we can mosey on up here. We're going to bring this guy over here. I still don't have the security guard. I think maybe on the bridge. Okay. Either way, we're going to bring this guy back here. Okay. You just want to get him locked away, which is what we're going to do right now. Go ahead. Ooh. Yeah, get the fuck down. Okay, so the guard is coming across the bridge here. We're just going to... I don't know why he was running. What the fuck? <laughs> I've never seen that before. Sorry, that was a bit okay, too right. funny for me. Uh, We're going to go ahead and hide this guy's body now. We still got two radios left. We're doing pretty good. You shouldn't need to kill any more guards, at least in the times that I've played this mission, as long as they don't wander up into you or you don't spook them. You should be fine. I'm going to go up here, and I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, part now. You can do this part after you do the truck and the nitrogen. I'm just going to get out of the way since I'm up here. So we're going to hack into this, let that password thing run, she'll find out where the truck is. In the meantime, we can go ahead and set up the refrigerated truck and the uh, nitrogen coolant. So we're going to head down these stairs here. You shouldn't have any more issues, I would be careful running on the sides, just in case you manage to proc any of the outside guards. So go ahead and open that, nitrogen coolant seems to be over here, open this up. And then throw that in the truck. Now we have to go back upstairs in order to hit the computer. Obviously, this would be easier with two, three people, even a full team, obviously. Um, but since I did solo for my first one, I would kind of want to keep up with that. Okay, the password is done. We're going to go ahead and hit that. And now we find out where we're going. West side. So now that we know that, we are going to get the zipline bag because she's going to acknowledge the fact that yes, the gate is closed. Okay. Is it possible? I don't want to risk it. I, my intrusive thoughts almost won there. I was thinking about jumping off there, but I'm not going to. So we're going to go ahead and just walk down these stairs. You may have to kill this guard. It depends on what kind of situation he puts us in. If he's wandering towards us and it looks like he's going to set off the alarm. We may kill him. We may not kill him. I think it'd be better to kill him just so that the sides freed up over here. So we're going to go ahead and just do him in. Sorry about this, bud. Nothing personnel, kid. Okay. We'll put him down. We'll put the zip line down so we can carry him to a safer area. You don't want to leave him out in the open like this. Okay. Now that we've hidden our second body, we can go ahead and head on back to the zip line. We can move on to the next step of this process. Ooh kill him. That is a civilian. We can go ahead and put him up. On your knees. Okay, so now we post the zip line up here. It's going to swing us across. Go ahead and look out for the white carrier. There's one there. There's one over there. You want to go ahead and keep keep your eyes out for the, the white ones as quickly as you can because those are, those are going to be the ones that we're using. Okay, this guy might get himself killed. That's not the one. He comes up here, he's See getting killed, and we're putting him in the goddamn inside. thing. Otherwise, keep looking for Next. That's the whole running, tripping up guards thing I was talking about earlier that can happen. However, this is not the objective. This is just side money you can get. I'm just grabbing it because I can. Uh, and also to show you how you can do this section. Okay, and then... You want to go ahead and just throw it up here for the moment since you're soloing. Otherwise, you'd have your friends carry it back over, but that's not really an option at the moment. So that's going to be two bags per container, and I believe there are three containers on this map that have the money in them, and then two that have the uh, your actual objective in them. So Okay. So now that we got it figured out that they're both on this side, unfortunately the one that still has a living guard, we are going to figure out the best way to execute this. So the problem he with this one is once you take these things out, they start degrading. And when they start degrading, 
the value goes away, obviously, which creates a bigger issue. So you're gonna use the QR code from earlier to open this up. Then you're gonna come in here, gonna go ahead and activate that. Now for my least favorite thing they've added in this game, which is the QR code, or not the QR code, sorry, the QR codes are fine, but this hotspot stuff, mm. is if I have to go this way, there's a guard, first off. Let's investigate. Actually, this might be the back area, so we may be able to just straight forward head for the door. All right, so now I'm gonna show you how the whole degrading thing works. I have taken the prototype bag. Some people recommend you take the zip line because uh, it makes it a little bit easier to find, but honestly, the zip line is not a huge problem. What is a problem is if you get caught up when you're carrying this back. So, here we go. Get the components to the truck. So you pretty much just want to hit a full full sprint from the moment you pick this thing up until you get it into the fucking truck. So, we're going to move, we're going to move. There should be a door here. Yep, we left this door open earlier for exactly this reason. Next, just run up and get it in. Great work, people. I'm able to make it a little bit make it look a little bit easier because I've I've done this a couple times now, um, and, I, and I'm using the prototype bags, but that can be kind of difficult to deal with, especially if you've left some guards live or the security cameras are still up, so you just want to make sure you take those out before you actually do this part. Next we're going to move these bags back over, <clears throat> because to be honest, carrying all of these over would be the longest and biggest fucking nuisance possible. So luckily, you can throw the bag at the zip line. Bada bing bada boom, it goes over. And you got nothing to worry about from there. Okay. Same as before. Same as before. QR code and then run the hotspot uh, thing again. And keep in mind these are all, these are going to be random each time. You're never going to know exactly where they're going to spawn. So, remember that. Oh god, okay. See, this is such a nuisance. However, this has just revealed to us we have a very straightforward spot to jump down to whenever we do get that one, which is going to make delivering it uh, a lot less full of pressure and a lot easier, to be honest, which is nice. So once again, the hot spot bullshit is over with, and we are ready to make our next move. So we're going to grab this, and we're going to run straight for that drop that we saw earlier, and we're going to drop in the truck. And then from there, we're going to move money bags, and then it's pretty much over from that. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't mean to hardcore parkour like that, but you know what? We take it. Thought we were going to take some fall damage there, but we didn't. So, once again, throw it in the truck. So, after you do that, after you throw it in there, you just want to go ahead and head back and grab the money bags, and then I'll show you where the escape is. All right, that's the last bag. So, now you go ahead and close the doors. You're all good to go. Head back the way you came in. Should just be at the front of the semi here. No guards to put up with. Maybe a civilian or two like this Look this guy right here. But otherwise, you're pretty much done. And that's how you do 99 boxes on normal difficulty. Completely stealth. Uh, not a single alarmed raise and only a few kills had to be done. So there you go. And we missed a bag apparently, which is saddening. But $597 for not the full amount is pretty good. So if you enjoyed this, remember, like, subscribe all that kind of stuff, and I will see you guys in the next guide. So thank you so much. See you next time.